prime time news. Now let's take more stories. The Ministry of Defense and the Republic of Sierra Leone Armed Forces have promoted 32 male and one female senior officer from Lieutenant Colonel to Colonels in Moigang offices, Ms. Wilberforce, after undertaking a prerequisite course for some months. Now, the promotion of these senior officers is as a result of their hard work, dedication to duty, and discipline, says the Deputy Minister of Defense, Colonel Retired Moana Boyama Masakoi. Our reporter, Isa Bangura, has more on this story. Colonels are selected by a board of superior offices based on career performance as recorded in their officer evaluation report collected over time. A lieutenant colonel who has served a minimum of 18 years in service and five years in grades becomes eligible for promotion to colonel, provided such officers continue to meet the physical requirements and stay out of legal trouble. Although soldiers seeking the colonel rank do not usually see achievements of that end until around 20 to 22 years of service. Thus, in line with this, Sierra Leone has witnessed another promotion of 32 male and one female senior officer from lieutenant colonels to colonels by the Ministry of Defense. Retired Colonel Mohana Brema Masakoi, Deputy Minister of Defense, in admonishing these officers, explains more on the promotion. You have been elevated today in another level, and therefore, all eyes will be on you. Promotions are always based on existing vacancies, and we usually see promotions come from God, but I am of the conviction that they are always accomplished by patience, diligence, discipline, and hard work. Lieutenant General Peter Lavahun, Chief of Defense Staff of ISLAF, elaborated on the duties and responsibilities of these officers. It's essential to acknowledge the tremendous responsibilities that come with this new rank. The rank of colonel carries with it enormous authority, influence, and the ability to shape the future of our armed forces. It's a position that demands the highest level of professionalism integrity and dedication at all times. At this stage, therefore, I implore you to remain diligent, accountable, and mission-oriented, and of course, to be professional as you step into this new chapter of your military journey. Your leadership will undoubtedly inspire those under your command and shape the future of our armed forces. The most senior decorated officer, Colonel Henry Aaron Robin, in giving the vote of thanks, assures the public and forces they will work hard towards expectation and encourages other officers to keep on the good work. We will not disappoint him as we will continue to serve our great nation. There is only one Baba Salon. Please let him know that we are here to defend our nation. To our colleagues, senior officers, some of us were in a situation a few years back. We were expecting promotions, but we are not. We did not relent. We continued working harder. We worked harder than the rest. I am asking you to please follow our footsteps. Don't relent. Continue to work harder. Your time will come. Isa Bangura, AYV News, Freetown. Now, the 25th batch of the China medical team has provided free medical treatment for communities around Jui. According to the team, since they arrived in Sierra Leone, they have found that, that malaria is the most killer disease in the country, and by rainy season, the infection may spread. This, they say, is the reason why they are educating communities on prevention. Lucian Kulanda has more. Malaria is not just an infectious disease, as people speculate it to be, but a very serious situation that has claimed so many lives. The 25th batch of the China medical team arriving in Sierra Leone in just a month have realized that it is necessary for them to engage communities on the preventions. And the team leader of the 25th batch, Lu Chao Chuin, expressed more to AYV on their visitation. We came to Sierra Leone just uh, one month ago. 
But even though it's not a long time, but we are really, really attractive uh, by Sierra Leone. And you know, the April 25th is the World Malaria Day. So that's why we hold this activity and with our another three, uh, another two medical team and also with uh, our Confucius Institute. Yeah, so that means uh, uh, the topic is uh, malaria, how to prevent malaria. So not just uh, uh, treat the people uh, that uh, test uh, positive, but also, you know, uh, uh, have a lecture to let uh, people know how to prevent uh, malaria. The infectious disease specialist, Dr. Liu Bingjie, in an interview said there will be higher rates of malaria infections in the rainy season. She then advised that people should heed to the education of preventing the infections more than the cure. Actually, uh, some of them uh, were diagnosed with malaria. That's uh, endemic uh, disease. And uh, uh, this is the dry season, and when the rainy season comes, I guess uh, this uh, disease will be more common see uh, in the future. And uh, it's, the parasite, it's a parasite cytic disease which uh, malaria is caused by uh, the plasma module uh, and uh, uh, in the world there are big five species of uh, plasma module to cause this disease and in Sierra Leone the most uh, prevalent uh, species is uh, uh, plasma module of uh, fascism and uh, uh, of the, uh, the Confucius Institute of the University of Sierra Leone joined hands with the medical team to show care and support to the people of Sierra Leone and the community members. We are very much grateful for the visitation. Lucian Kolanda, AYV News, Jue. Now in sports, is the Lions Football Club are through to the FA Cup Finals after defeating Calon Football on penalties. Now the match ended in a goalless draw with both teams, creating massive changes. Is the Lions will now face Boingers in the final schedule to take place on the 4th of May 2024 in Port Loco. Let's take some highlights. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. How do you feel to see the boys triumph over the opponents, beating them on a post game penalty? I feel good, I feel good. Um, it was a very good game. Looks like a final, you know. Arguably, these two clubs are one of the best in Sierra Leone. You know, anytime you see FC Calon, Eastern Lions, the difference, there's a thin line. I mean, both teams are really good, and I enjoy football today. It's been a while. I've not enjoyed football like what I watched today. Both teams played really well. And thanks to the to East Alliance because we had a lucky side for today. We played well, we overplayed them, we 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 we, we, we attacked them with all their tactics, we had their game and we overplayed them. But thank God we won. News tonight for more stories, visit our website on www.arivenews.com. If you have any comment on the news, please send an email to info at arivenews.com. I am Mayan Amaria Bangura. Many thanks for watching and listening. Bye bye.